the guy who helped us do the promo videos and those commercials, uh, Dave Seeger. Thank you very much. Everybody give it up for Dave Seeger. Uh, all right, I am going, we're, this is uh, cooking tips with Howie. Because uh, I'm a really good cook. And so what we're going to do is we're going to bring out Dan and Megan again. Uh, Uh, we're, we're actually shooting. Uh, we're actually shooting right now. So due to due to shooting schedule, our special guest could not be here tonight. Wait, but were we not the special guest? You guys are the super special guest. This guy was just a special. So I'm gonna. Uh, yeah, we're gonna bring somebody up here. Are these uh, suggestions? Like, do they? No, no, no. They, have, they have questions for us. Um, okay, this question is for me. Will you sleep? With, no. Uh, it really actually. Says it really says, "Will you sleep with me after the show?" <laughs> but then it's signed, Eric. <laughs> I was gonna say that part. I was gonna say that. Uh, dear Megan, in metric units, how do you miss New York? Love trips. That's my friend Liz. Uh, I would so much. Um, what's like a billion kilos of missing? Probably a billion kilos. Okay, so <laughs> let's bring someone up here. You, one of you is going to get a chance to ask Dan or Megan whatever you want while I teach you uh, a really cool way to make uh, cookies. Right? Yeah, sounds great. Right, so you want to on paper? On paper. All right. So it says. All right. Well, you can just answer it. It doesn't have the name. <laughs> I would say, Dan, uh, what is your favorite episode of any TV show ever? If you had one piece of advice, what would it be? Those two questions. Uh, <laughs> my favorite episode of any TV show ever is the series finale of Quantum Leap. Woo! Oh. <laughs> it made me weep openly by myself <laughs> in my parents' living room. Uh, uh, Scott Bakula finds out that he, after years of Quantum Leaping, Spoilers. That, <laughs> that, that he, the whole reason for the whole show is that he's fucking dead. And what? God, and, and God, because he, he, he leaps to some coal mining town where inexplicably everyone that he's ever leapt into is there in the coal mining town. And God is the bartender and takes him out front and goes like, listen, you're fucking dead, dude. You died. Do you think the guy that made that show pitched it that way? Like, and the whole thing is the I don't know. But it felt like a great beginning. completion. But Scott Bakula gives this great performance. And I, I, I love that guy. Here's the winner who's going to come on stage if he, if he wants to. That, yeah, it is very nice. Wait, just because this person's name isn't on it, they don't get to come up? Okay, I guess whoever asked that. Who, 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 who asked that question? Lying. Who, 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 are you going to be a liar? <laughs> who asked the question? There he is. Because I, I have a feeling you probably didn't tell him. Put your name on it, uh, and you might get to come up. Okay, no, maybe we can do that. <laughs> <laughs> Alex? Megan, Alex, Dan. Hi. All right. Uh, so Alan Lee, Alex, Alex pretty much asked. Advice is make quantum leap. Okay. <laughs> what you want to do is you want to take the cookie dough and make it into small balls and put it on a pan. Ball. <laughs> now it is me who is sarcastic. <laughs> Jumped on the balls. <laughs> so I, I don't know if this is uh, I don't know if you have any other questions or if you uh, just kind of put me on the spot. I, I kind of maybe shouldn't have done this. No, it's not. Is that Redless tea? Uh, yeah, it is actually. Yeah, I got it in college and it's like ten bucks. But yeah, um, actually, a huge fan of the show. Um, I should shave. I guess that's the thing. Like, I feel like I, anyway, that's the thing. I mean, you should. That's the thing. Is that you should have shaved. <laughs> Yeah, who, who told you that? The government? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, actually, before the show, I was like, Howie, should I bring my season one? Do you think he'd sign it? And I was like, I don't want to be a loser. But anyway. You should have brought your season one. <laughs> <laughs> you should have brought your season one. I like season one. I'll sign whatever you want. I'll sign it. Oh, yeah. um, no one wants your signature! No one wants you to sign anything! You just got burned on us. <laughs> I'm really into comedy. I'm a big fan of the show. That's about it, you know? <laughs> do, you, do you have, like, maybe, like, uh, what's some advice 
a, you're a writer, right? Okay. You're yeah. a young writer. Okay. What is some advice that you guys could give to, uh, okay, you want to, to feel this one? No, no, to me. <laughs> 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 to me about writing. Yeah. Right. She's not very good. Uh, regret. <laughs> uh, regret is always worse than failure. Do it out. Do it all. Do it all. Good. That's true. <laughs> That's good. Regret is always worse than failure. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because if you're, if you're 25 years old and you are a, a do a bad job at doing like a, a plate spinning act <laughs> and then you're 35 years old and yeah, I, why, why am I about to explain what that means? Right. <laughs> I'm just gonna walk you through. <laughs> no, because a stitch in time, no, and then if there's nine. Because now you can regret that you did it. Yeah, now I, I, I totally failed. To <laughs> yeah, fall on your face with women and with entertainment and with uh, everything creative. Like, like always do it wrong. Always fuck up, and then have a whole yeah. lifetime of fuck ups, because all paths lead to the big fuck up, which is dying. You're gonna fuck that up too, because you're not gonna die the way you want to. I want to drink myself to death. I'm probably gonna die of colon cancer. <laughs> My butt will decide that I'm dying. I'm your butt. I'm gonna die because I'm, you know, I'm gonna be bigger than usual. No, but I'm trying to. I want to be Dylan Thomas. No, your butt is eating it, eating you. <laughs> Alex, thank you very much. Uh, don't, don't bring people on stage. That would be best the, no, I, 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 the Yeah, that's kind of weird. No, but, some of them are, some <laughs> but I think they like meeting you guys. Maybe. Ask them if they like it. <laughs> okay. next, next time we do the show, here's the thing about okay. filling out the So there's going to be a your next name on it. And put and check a box of whether or not you like lying. <laughs> <wine. laughs> so all notes, I'll take yeah. that note. You bring lipstick and you put it on and you kiss it if you want to. Kiss it. <laughs> <laughs> What are you doing? You walk away. Just, it's a bit that will pay off in a minute. <laughs> Guys, this is going to pay off so hard. Dan, on the Mark Marin podcast, you talked about doing stand up and improv and then writing. Did you struggle with the am I an actor or writer issue, or did you feel like you knew you were more of a writer? Do you miss performing? Nick. The, the latter. I always miss performing. I love performing. Performing is fun. There are people, probably many of whom are in the audience, who feel the way about acting that I feel about writing, which is, if I was on a desert island, if I was starving to death, if, if everyone in the world told me to stop doing it, I'd still do it. I would, I would arrange a bunch of coconuts in an audience and I would perform my writing for them. I mean, if that's the way you feel about acting, then act, because that's what that job is. I would not. I did two Mad TV auditions and I was done. <laughs> I will not subject myself to this inhumanity. But there are people, many of whom are my friends, and, and like, like they live off of that shit. The bad audition, the ego-crushing endeavor that is acting is fuel for people who are born to be actors. If you, and there are many people who feel that way about writing, so that's the answer. Is uh, Nick, do you want to come up here? And, I would uh, love to. All right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Nick, this is Nick, this is Dan. Uh, thank you for the question. It was really, yeah, it was a really great question. Um, do you have, do you have, is this putting you on spot? Do you have another question? Not at all. Not at all. Um, yeah, right. Um, How do you think this might pay off? Like, like, yes. Like, what do you think? <laughs> so this may be like, I'm going to do it. So, 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 so at, you know, at some point you're creating the show, you kind of have, I'm sure, the bigger picture in your mind. And you've talked about having, you know, in your head what's going to happen after kind of like four years when they kind of graduate or whatever. But what do you do as far as like, oh, I have a really good idea. Hey, I should probably put this in season four, but you just kind of say like, "Fuck it, I don't know about tomorrow. I'm gonna put everything into season three as much as I can." Yeah, the latter. Like, 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 because mo like, somebody told me once because it was about, I don't want to cast Chevy Chase, and then somebody said, "Hey, get your pilot picked up for series." Let me ask you, and then mop up the Chevy Chase problem. <laughs> Take it one step at a time, and I'm because that was it's like you get in TV, 
write the script that'll get shot, then shoot the, the pilot that'll get picked up for series, shoot, uh, uh, and then shoot the, se the first season that'll get picked up for the second season, etc. Always be focused on that because it's a it's a fleeting opportunity for anybody to be working on TV. Uh, but 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 then you have ten percent of your brain like thinking about your Picasso shit. Like okay, if it gets picked up for a fifth season, then this awesome Beetlejuice gag is going to pay off. I'm going to pay off this bit and prove Abel Charles wrong. Um, Megan. What are the challenges of writing a bottle episode? And for those of you who don't know, a bottle episode uh, it takes place in one location. They never leave. The famous bottle episode last season uh, is one of our better episodes. And it's called, and, and, and if you wanted to learn more about the bottle episode, go to bottleguy.com. <laughs> oh, man, that's a terrible joke that was played on me. Don't go to bottleguy.com. <laughs> it's, it's, just go to bottleguy.com. <laughs> Do you have an answer to that question? Bottle what episodes. What were the challenges of, I really was excited about doing a bottle episode because I'd never written a TV episode before. And so uh, Dan mentioned it earlier in the year and I was like, I want to do that because it'll be like a play where every, all the variables are taken down to like the bare minimum. And I just have these seven people in a room and then this pen missing. And uh, so yeah, it was actually less challenging for me, I feel like. Uh, than, uh, than crazy stuff that I'm doing now on 308. Yeah. Let's yeah. do it. Stop. Okay. <laughs> so what do you want to do? Can I say it? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's about the Entertainment Weekly. It's the yeah. 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 It wasn't because you guys were asking for it. We were wanting to do it. He's one of the funniest. He was the first guest. Well, give them the whole goods. I mean, they came here. They paid. They paid probably good money. The Dean is make, oh, yeah. do I mean like... It's a Hearts of Darkness kind of. Oh, oh. Uh, and the Dean is making like a promotional video for Greendale, like a commercial. <clears throat> and uh, and he goes, he, he wants it to be really, really good because he wants Greendale, he loves Greendale. And uh, and then things happen and it gets a little out of, out of hand and he goes basically insane and Abed's documenting it. Um, it's a documentary episode too. Inappropriate! <laughs> Gonna you're going to have a meeting with me in your area. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going insane in my office right now. It's going to be awesome. It's gonna, it really is going to be awesome. Oh, okay. I love it. So what you do is you put the dough in balls, <laughs> you put it on, on a tray like this, and then you put it in the oven for 20 minutes. Yeah, yeah. And then, right? And then, and then like, how do you, how do you pay this off? <laughs> <laughs> do we have to? I thought the bit was he was going to take it. Yeah, yeah, then, Wait, what are you doing? You brought it out at the same time there. And then these Oreos. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I don't have a tray of Oreos. That was the problem. I tried to get paper plate. We're on your turf. Whatever you say. See, this is what performers do. They ruin your bits. Sorry. Thank you guys for coming out to the show tonight. Woo!